If you want to thank, you want to thank me first. It makes Absolutely, the most I sense. Would def yes, you first. Um, it's like there's nonstop awkward moments with Taylor Swift. Here's a look at some of the most awkward moments of Taylor Swift's career part two. There's this huge moment or series of moments with Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. So Taylor Swift and Kanye West feud, it sparked anew when Kanye West released the song Famous in 2016, including controversial lyrics about Taylor Swift. I feel like me and Taylor might still have why I made that Famous. While Kanye West claimed that Taylor Swift approved the lyrics, well, she disputed this in her Grammy speech. And Kim Kardashian defended Kanye West, who she was married to at the time, alleging that no, Taylor Swift actually did give him the approval. I just felt like I wanted to like defend him in it. Kanye West later released a video that featured an unclothed Taylor Swift clone lying in bed, along with other famous people in the bed with Kanye West in the video. Feel like me and Taylor might still have s And Kim Kardashian then went on to share a phone call claiming that Taylor Swift found it a compliment to be included in the song. But Taylor Swift countered questioning the absence of Kanye West saying he's going to use the term that B-I-T-C-H. Now the saga unfolded on social media, Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, they say, no, Taylor Swift gave her approval. Taylor Swift was like, well, sure, include me in your song, but you never told me you were gonna call me the B word. There are going to be people along the way who will try to undercut your success or take credit. There was also a reporter that made a mistake with Taylor Swift. Ahead of the 2012 Billboard Music Awards, a journalist made an awkward mistake when telling Taylor Swift that she was up for some additional awards. And Taylor Swift, she was clearly surprised and she responded with uncertainty about hearing this and the interviewer had to quickly recover and she played it off by jokingly suggesting they'd create an award for Taylor Swift's kindness. Either way, Taylor Swift was gracious in her response and took the awkward moment in stride. Despite the mix up, Taylor did win the Woman of the Year award that year, which was an already known fact that she was going to win it anyways. Also back in 2014, during the Grammy Awards, Taylor Swift experienced a moment of shock and disappointment when her album Red was not announced as the winner for Album of the Year. Taylor Swift revealed in an interview that when and presenter Alicia Keys announced Random Access Memories by Daft Punk as the winner. Well, the elongated pronunciation of briefly made Taylor think that she had actually won the award. And I think Alicia Keys did that on purpose to kind of build the suspense. But Taylor Swift, yeah, it was like pretty awkward for her. Like she candidly shared that she felt a mix of emotions in that moment. She even skipped the after parties. She went home, she cried herself to sleep and she consoled herself with a meal from In-N-Out Burger. There was also this Taylor Swift, Nicki Minaj feud that went on and this happened in 2015 when Nicki Minaj found herself in a social media feud over the MTV VMA nominations. It started when Nicki Minaj's Anaconda music video was not nominated for video of the year, leading her to question if she missed the deadline or something, right? She also expressed that video celebrating slim bodies usually get nominated. So Taylor Swift, when she heard that, she interpreted it as a reference to her Bad Blood music video and responded suggesting that maybe a man took Nicki Minaj's spot. So not her, a slim girl took her spot. Nicki Minaj then had to go on to clarify that she wasn't actually targeting Taylor Swift. She was just speaking about the larger issue here and Taylor Swift had to apologize and acknowledge her misunderstanding even though it was pretty awkward for her. And the artists, Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift, they ended up reconciling and they performed together on stage. So yeah, that awkward moment uh, was cleared up pretty quickly. Then there was another moment on Jimmy Fallon back in 2019 where Taylor Swift had an unexpected reveal on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon surprised her by disclosing to the audience that she had undergone LASIK eye surgery. Taylor Swift, she was confused about this and she did confirm her ability to see. She said, yes, I can see. And she also said, I did. How do you know that? In reference to Jimmy Fallon knowing that she had LASIK eye surgery. So Jimmy Fallon, who was aware of her recent surgery, inquired if she took painkillers, 
to which she admitted to receiving strong medication. And Jimmy Fallon shared a video provided by Taylor Swift's mom showing her post-surgery wearing protective eyewear, attempting to pick a banana, and showing clear emotional confusion about it. Taylor Swift was shocked at how Jimmy Fallon actually obtained this footage, and it created a very embarrassing and awkward moment for her, yet a very memorable moment for Taylor. <laughs> Don't fall asleep eating a banana, okay? I'm not asleep. My mind is alive. On that note, that's where I'll end off this one, looking at some of Taylor Swift's most awkward moments of her career, part two. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Boom.